Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about CPU registers. This is the agenda of the session. What is CPU register? Types of CPU registers, uses of each CPU register. First, what is CPU register? Register is an internal memory unit of CPU. It is used to store memory address, any data or any code instruction. It is smallest in size but fastest in memory hierarchy. The size of register may be 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bits, 64 bits. Depends on the architecture of the processor. In 32 bit CPU architecture, the register are of 32 bits. So CPU can manipulate 32 bits of data at a time. 32 bits of register can handle to the power 32 different values so in 32 bit cpu architecture memory size up to 4 gb can be handled by cpu however in 64 bit cpu architecture register are of 64 bits so cpu can manipulate 64 bits of data at a time 64 bits of registers can handle to the power 64 different values so in 64 bit cpu architecture memory size up to 16 exabytes can be handled by cpu so please pay attention to this architecture details and it will help you understand what is 62 bit cpu architecture and what is 64 bit cpu architecture now let's see the types of cpu registers mainly there are two types general purpose registers and a special purpose register general purpose registers don't have any specific purpose it can be used to store the data instruction or any address the naming convention normally is r0 r1 r2 special purpose register are having particular job or dedicated job so i have highlighted the types of different special purpose register first one is accumulator Second is program counter, third is instruction register, fourth is address register, which is also known as memory address register, fifth is data register, which is also known as memory data register or memory buffer register, sixth is status register, which is also known as flag register. Now let's see the usage of a special purpose register one by one. Accumulator, it is used to store the result of ALU or it can be used as one of the input for the ALU depending on the ALU architecture. Program counter, it is used to store address of next instruction to be executed. Program counter incremented each time to point to the next in instruction address. Instruction register, sorry it is IR not IC, to store current instruction which CPU is executing. Status register, it is used to store status of ALU result. Status register is used to store the sign flag if output is plus or minus zero if it is zero output or is there any overflow or is there any carry. So these kind of flags are present in the status register. Address register or memory address register. It is used to send address from CPU to memory. CPU needs to send the address from PC or any general purpose register to address register to access the memory via address bus so whichever memory location cpu needs to access first cpu sends the address to the address register data register or memory data register or memory buffer register it is used to receive the data from memory during the memory read operation or it is used to write data to memory during the memory write operation. So, first data needs to be copied to DR from any register to write to memory. Also, during memory read, data first is copied from memory to DR. Then it is transferred to or stored in other general purpose register based on the requirement that is decided by the CPU. Now, we will see how in actual these register works with the help of diagram here i have drawn one diagram of cpu which is telling what is present inside the cpu 
so these are the first is the general purpose registers ic instruction register uh, accumulator ec program counter pc status register sr address register and dr registers and apart from these registers we have alu which is used to perform the arithmetic and logical operations like addition subtraction and or and also we have control unit which is used to send the control signal in this diagram we can see we have cpu at the left side at the right side we have memory ram cpu and ram are connected by a buses the address bus data bus and control bus and this is the c program which we have taken to understand the registers working so when we will execute this c program first it is loaded in the memory suppose cpu wants to execute this instruction so what it will do cpu will fetch this instruction in the data register and from data register it is transferred to the instruction register so the instruction register holds the instruction so after this instruction is fetched by the cpu the program counter saves the address of next instruction so this is the function of program counter to hold the address of next in instruction what is the function of instruction register to hold the current instruction this alu alu will perform the actual operation of the instruction like for this the addition so the output of the addition would be stored in the accumulator ac so what is the usage of accumulator to store the output of the alu and what about the status register so the status register is used to store the status of output of the alu so the output was zero or not output is having any carry output is plus or minus so these kind of flags are stored in the status register in actual voltage address register so the address register holds the address of the memory location so if cpu wants to access any memory location for the reading or for the writing first the address is moved or saved in the address register so what is the data register data register is used to hold the data which cpu wants to store in the memory or cpu wants to copy from memory in case of read cpu would copy the data from memory to dr in case of write cpu would copy the data from dr to memory and from dr it can transfer to other general purpose register as per the requirement so these are the function of different registers